What's up guys and welcome back to Cryptographics. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way I know to import tokens that have been copied over in the Pulse Chain airdrop. So what we're going to do here is just a few steps and we're gonna get you all set up with, let's say it's your Hex or maybe it's your UCC or it's your SHIB or whatever tokens you got copied over but that you, you held before the fork. I'm gonna show you how to import those into your wallet to see your tokens easily. So first things first, and of course the link for this video is gonna be app.pulsex.com, which will be in the description. And once you're here, what we wanna do is we wanna connect our wallet. So the big green button here, either one of these, click that, click your MetaMask, and sometimes it doesn't load. If it doesn't load for whatever reason, just refresh. I've seen this happen from time to time. So now that we're here though, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to the top bar here where there are three little dots and we're gonna click and go to the info page, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our MetaMask. So make sure that's nice and armed, armed and ready. And then what we're gonna do is come to the top of MetaMask here and we're going to switch networks from Pulse Chain to Ethereum. And then don't worry about this whole network thing popping up in the background. We're gonna ignore that. It's gonna go away in a moment. But for now, what we're gonna do is we are going to click on whatever token you want. In this case, I'm just gonna use DAI because why not? And I will click on DAI. And then I'm gonna to go to the three dots at the top here, just across from the donation address or the your wallet address name and DAI. And you're gonna click on those dots. Go to token details at the bottom. And then you're gonna look in the middle here and you're gonna see this big long address. That's the token address. So what we're gonna do is we are going to double click on that and then we're gonna copy it. And the reason we can do this is because the entire blockchain of Ethereum got copied over. So all of the addresses, so even for hex, for die, for all the tokens that got copied over, the addresses are actually the same. So this is really the easiest way to do this. So check this out. So yeah, we've double clicked, we've copied. Now what we can do is we can go back to the top of our MetaMask here and we can click on Pulse Chain Mainnet. Now when we do that, we now go back to this page, we go to the search bar here at the top and we're going to paste in that address and lo and behold, we get die that pops up in this case. So we're gonna click on die and then you get this other analytics page here, but all we care about doesn't matter, nothing else matters here except for, in this case, this big green trade button. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna bring us back to the swap page. And now what we can do is we can move just slightly to the right of where it says die here and we can click on this Fox logo, which is the MetaMask logo. And when we click that, MetaMask pops up. It allows us to add the token to our wallet. And then if we come back in here and check on die, boom. Now we have die in our wallet. So it's really that easy, guys. So you can literally do this for any token that you want to copy over or to import into your wallet. You go token details, click here, copy, go back. If you're me, make your, uh, your screen switch, switch network and wallet, or you can just switch it manually in MetaMask yourself. Switch it over, go to info, click, paste, grab hex, click trade, click the MetaMask logo, import. It's really that easy. There's nothing else you need to do. You don't need to go searching even on the info page. You don't need to go on the block explorer. You can simply just go into your wallet, copy the address from the token details that are already in your MetaMask on the Ethereum side, and then just use the PulseX exchange to then import them as easy as possible. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that made it way easier for you because I know there's so much to be confused about in this space right now. And it's one of the many things I wanna clear up for everyone watching these videos. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like, make sure you subscribe for more content. Also, as you guys, I'm sure you know, if anyone needs help with this, one-on-one -on -one walkthroughs where someone can basically guide you through the steps here to make sure that you're set up and ready to rock and you're not making any small errors that could cost you big time, I do one-on-one -on -one calls for 30 minutes or one hour and the link in the description below. There are two links there, go check those out. I also have a book that you can check out on Amazon. It's in Kindle format, it is in paperback, hard copy, and the Kindle is free, as well as if you go to my website, 
website, cryptographics.com. There is a free PDF download there for you. A hundred and about 44, 150 pages of awesome information. Go there and download that wherever, whatever version of that book suits whatever your preferences are. And that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will catch you guys in a video very soon. Peace.